What is up everyone? Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics. Just got the Etsy store up for the P flats. If you want to check it out, it's Etsy slash shop slash things by Roma. I just added the new steel sheet to the shop. So you can now buy that for ten dollars along with your P flat. So you have something to put the P flat on, uh, which I'm gonna give the run through of everything of what to do right now. So basically, um this is what you're going to get in the mail if you order a P-flat. It's just like a sticker like this. It has film on both sides. One side has a sticky side and one side has a film to protect uh, the hologram. That's why it doesn't look as shiny or whatever right now because there's a little film right here that can peel off a little. And you can see the shininess. So this is uh, the silk laser right here. And this is the sparkle. This is the kaleidoscope before I forget to say. Um, but what we're gonna be doing is the first one I got was a kaleidoscope and I put it on the back of the glass that came with the, my printer, my Ender 3 version two. And I just put it on the back and it works great. I can go back and forth from glass to print or whatever. But I ordered three of these. I got a sparkle um a kaleidoscope and a radiance diamond to start out with and once i put the one on the, the kaleidoscope on here i didn't have anywhere else to put my other two without peeling this off and i didn't really want to peel it off until it was done and used so then i thought let's get some steel sheets um, they're magnetic they work great with magnetic beds they stick right down uh, you could clamp them down just like they were glass and they Fit perfect so did a little sticker put the sparkle sheet onto um, this stainless steel sheet here and we plop that right down on the bed and it prints great so I'm gonna show you how I do that right now and as you can see the P flat comes is a little bit bigger than the 235 by 235 uh, most beds say like 220 by 220 they're actually or 230 by 230 they're actually in real that's print size in real size they're like 235 by 235 most of them um, which is why the steel sheet comes 235 by 235 and the p flats are a little bit bigger they're 235 by 250 i believe um, but that's a, so you can cut it nicely so what i do is i'll put it up against something flat like this so Again, something nice and flat, and then you don't have to be exactly perfect with it, like I said, because it's, it's a little bit bigger. And you want to peel off the sticky. So I just peel the sticky a little bit on the sticky side, and then I'll fold that down. So it's just a little bit, just that little bit of corners there. And that gives us some room to work with. Um, so right now, it's longer than it is tall so i'm gonna put it longer than it is tall so that i have wiggle room side to side versus up and down because i'm putting it flat against the surface up and down so i know that side's going to line up and i have wiggle room left and right so make sure that's down put it flat flat make sure it's flat lined up i can't see any of the steel which is good Make sure that stays flat while I push that corner down. And then I just push that corner. Make sure it has a nice sticky stick on that steel. And go under here and grab that plastic corner. And just peel back a little bit. Stick it down. And then just kind of roll it. Roll and press as you go to get rid of those... Try not to get any air bubbles under there. Although I have gotten an air bubble under there. And it, it's not the end of the world. It still works pretty well. Okay. So that looks like it worked out quite well. If we flip it over, we'll see we got a little bit of extra on this side. And just a hair on this side. And what we need... Just take an X-Acto knife or a razor blade, and you can cut it right along the side there. So I just went and grabbed a piece of cardboard and my razor blade. 
I'm going to start at the top. It doesn't matter how fast you go. It's not about the quickness. It's about staying as close to the steel as you can. Press hard. Stay against the steel. Perfect. Cuts away that easy. Just like that. And now we have our P-flat stuck to our steel. We go ahead and remove the film. It's hard to grab without fingernail. There it goes. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that is beautiful. That one's called Silk Laser. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the printer. And uh, I got a picture frame that I planned on printing that I think this is going to look gorgeous with. So the reason I don't put the steel on before I ship them is because you can easily peel the sticker back off. It comes off pretty easily so you really only need to buy one steel sheet and then well one steel sheet for each p flat that you want um, but basically if you're only planning on using one p flat at a time with the same pattern you basically just buy one sheet and when the p flat runs out after 50 or more prints you just peel off the p flat and reuse the steel plate with another sticker um, so the steel plate is reusable um, the p flats last about 50 to 100 prints in one spot um, but if you keep moving it around you can get a lot of prints out of it looks beautiful on the printer there that nice little rainbow looks fantastic I can't wait for that to transfer into the picture frame that I'm about to print we're getting a shot of the first layer going down just to see the, some of the bed adhesion. This is uh, doing the purge line now. We're laying the first layer. No issues whatsoever. We're at 30 millimeters per second at 500 acceleration for this first layer. And that's walls and infill. And then we kick it up to 100 millimeters per second walls and infill uh, for the rest. Uh, but sorry about the focus issues, but as you can see, we're having zero bed adhesion issues here. It's laying down nice. So I'm going to let it do its thing, and we'll come back once we got a little bit more of this laid down. We're about 10 minutes into the print now, so looking good. All the details, fine lines are coming out very nice. No bed adhesion issues. Everything's still nice and stiff and stuck in place as it should be. A few more layers in, still looking very, very good. No warping or lifting off the bed whatsoever. Looks really, really good. The detail looks great. Bed is cool. Still doesn't want to just pull off, so I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little flex. It popped right off there nicely with that flex. Here we can see the beautiful holographic iridescent effect that's left on the print on the underside. It looks wonderful. It's very, very pretty in real life. The video doesn't really do it justice. Um, the lighter the color is, the less it shows off too. So if we threw it on black, it would show it off a little bit more. Uh, but it looks good in glow in the dark as well. Thanks everybody. Roma Aquatics out.